this module you will learn about the development of cricket in England it's rightly said that the one force that truly unites all Indians is cricket it's interesting how cricket a legacy of the British colonial rule is followed passionately in the Indian subcontinent nearly 500 years ago cricket developed in rural England out of several stick and ball games till the 18th century Cricket bats were curved like hockey sticks. Such bats helped in making contact with the ball that was bowled underarm at that time. Interestingly, cricket carries many peculiarities today, the reasons for which lie in the initial years of its growth. The game was originally played on unfenced land in English villages. The size of grounds varied from one village to another, with no defined boundaries. The laws of cricket were first written in 1744. However, the distance of the boundaries from the wicket was not defined and was left to the empires and the captains to be agreed upon. The tradition carried on. Till today, the length of the pitch is specified, but not the size and shape of the ground, which varies across the world. Another peculiarity of cricket lies in the length of a test match. Compared to any of the modern games that finish faster, a test match goes on for five days and can still end in a draw. The reason lies in the early days of cricket, when the game was played leisurely, it went on till a side was bowled out twice completely. These oddities occurred because cricket was the first game to lay down rules and regulations. The laws of 1744 specified the dimensions of the stumps and the weight of the ball but they said nothing about the shape and the size of the bat. The Marylebone Cricket Club, which was formed in 1787, revised the laws, which gradually made cricket a more skillful game. Bowlers now started bowling overarm instead of the conventional underarm style. This allowed them to increase their pace and deceive the batsmen by varying their length and swing. Such changes prompted the batsmen to master their timing and shot selection. Moreover, the width of the bat was limited to four inches. While many important rules were introduced and changed in the 19th century, cricket matured during the Industrial Revolution. At this time, people were paid on an hourly, weekly or daily basis. Therefore, Timeless test matches were replaced by five-day test matches. While cricket has evolved over the ages, cricketing equipment is still made by hand, using natural pre-industrial material. The bat, stumps and bales are still made of wood, while the ball is made of leather twine and cork. Cricket developed as a Victorian gentlemanly game that embodied all Englishness, the hierarchies of English society were evident in early cricket. Poor people, also called professionals or players, played cricket for a living, while the rich or amateurs played it for pleasure. They were also known as gentlemen. The rules of the game were lopsided and favoured the gentlemen who mostly batted. Cricket was also introduced in public schools as part of physical training for boys. It was used to teach them discipline and the importance of hierarchy and to groom them to run the British Empire in future. For a long time, cricket remained a male preserve. Women from the upper class played a slow-paced game 
called Crockett. It was only by the end of the 19th century that women began to participate in vigorous games like cricket. However, they were still discouraged from participating in competitions. You have now reached the end of the module on development of cricket in England. In this module, you learnt that cricket developed in rural England out of several stick and ball games. First laws of cricket were written in 1744. The Marylebone Cricket Club revised the cricket laws and published them in 1788. The cricketing equipment is still handmade using natural pre-industrial materials. The hierarchies of English society were evident in early cricket. Professionals or players played cricket for a living while the amateurs or gentlemen played it for pleasure. Cricket was also introduced to young schoolboys to teach them discipline and the importance of hierarchy. By the end of the 19th century, women began to play cricket, but they were still discouraged to participate in competitions.